Did you know that South Africa holds the title of the world's largest producer of manganese ore? Yes, it's true. From the busy mines of the Northern Cape to the economic zones of Gwateng, manganese is driving growth and prosperity in South Africa. For decades, gold has been the cornerstone of South Africa's economy. But I guess times are changing. So let's get down and dissect the rise of manganese in the country's economy. But first, let's know what is manganese. And then we'll talk about South Africa's manganese production. Manganese is a crucial element in the manufacturing of lithium-ion batteries, like the ones used in electric vehicles and backup systems. Manganese is the fifth most abundant metal in the Earth's crust. It's too brittle to be of much use as a pure metal, so it's used in alloys like the steel. Large areas of the ocean floor is covered with manganese nodules, also called polymetallic nodules. The amount of manganese in the nodules is estimated to be much more than that in land reserves. It is also known for its nutritional benefits, but critical in the production of steel and batteries. Manganese is often extracted at open cast mines using explosives and ex excavators. There are several underground manganese mines in South Africa, like the Wessels, Gloria and Entwining mines. South Africa's mineral economy is changing. Gold production has reduced over the years, now accounting for a mere 22% of sales in 2022. However, the country's abundant mineral resources offers a new opportunity for economic growth especially with manganese. Manganese, a mineral with a wide range of applications, has seen a surge in local production and sales over the past decade. As the world's largest producer of manganese ore, South Africa contributes about 36% to the global production. Most of the country's manganese deposits can be found in the Northern Cape, serving as an economic pillar in the mining industry. In 2022, the manganese mining industry employed about 14,500 South Africans and generated over 7 billion rands in tax revenue. The industry also contributed over 47 billion rands in the country's foreign exchange reserves. Through export earnings in the past 12 months, analysts suggest that the demand for manganese in lithium-ion batteries will increase by an average of 10% per year over the next decade, and South Africans' manganese ore production is expected to reach over 50% of the world's additional manganese ore output in the same period. Manganese-rich cathode materials are also being developed. To boost the efficiency of electric vehicles, this will increase the demand for the metal. Manganese is also essential in producing several other green-powered technologies. However, the versatility of this metal extends beyond the power industry. As an alloying element, it is important in the several types of steel production often together with copper, and serves the food processing, agricultural, chemical, construction, medical, and aircraft industries. It is also green-friendly and used to treat wastewater and extract pollutants from soil and the air. With an abundance of manganese reserves, South Africa has the potential to become a leader in the production of high-purity Manganese 2 sulfate. The country has been slow to open facilities to process manganese chemical, mainly due to the lack of local customers that would use the product. Given the sudden rise in green power strategies in the West, the manganese industry is set to provide an increasing opportunities for employment and economic growth in the Northern Cape. This will benefit not only the manganese mining industry, but the country at large, thus boosting the overall country's economic growth. South Africa is indeed fortunate to be in a position in which it has both the material and the operational capacity to rise to the demands of a rapidly changing world. But if you look at all the government-run services that are needed to export this manganese ore, it is only a matter of time before the port of Saldanha, where most of the manganese is exported from, will break down because of lack of maintenance. 
as has happened in the case of ESCOM, PRASA, Transnet, and the Harbors.